you. Um, as you understand them, I mean, just sign an initial, and then uh, if you read the bottom and agree to talk to us, please sign. Them. As you understand them, yes. And what I'm curious about is what came out of that bullet that went through her body and into his shoulder? That's pretty powerful. I, 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 I've never heard of it. Now, some people say <coughs> you can lodge material in the barrel accidentally, a rock, something, that happens. Which is why she, every time we've done this, I'm here to tell you, to testify that every time we've done this, she's done it right. She cleaned the barrel, made sure nothing was lodged in there. We went hot when they were ready. You always announce, going hot. Crew gets ready. And then all of a sudden, you're the camera, and I shoot away from you. I sit there, I'm like, bang, 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 and flashes are coming out, and we shoot the rounds. She cleans the barrel every time, and she checks th that the rounds are all cosmetic rounds, for the, or nothing in the chamber for the rehearsal. She hands me the gun. I'm assuming she's done it the right way. She's done it the last two weeks. I put it in the holster. I pull it out slow. We're rehearsing. We're not filming anything. I pull it out slow, turn, cock the pistol, bang, it goes up, and she hits the ground. And then he starts screaming. All right, we're going to go talk to Mr. Baldwin and let him know we're going to conduct interviews at the sheriff's office. Okay. Mr. Baldwin, Detective Roy Arn. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, if we could have a chat over here. When I draw the gun slowly and aim off camera, and there's supposed to be nothing in there. So she's not protecting herself and standing off. I'm shooting in a direction, and everybody is supposed to be to that side of the camera. There's nobody in my line. Nobody. And so when I shoot the gun, so in the rehearsal, I'm assuming I have an empty gun, and the gun goes off. She's right in front of me. We just want to do a formal interview with you and the actor so we can eliminate all... Yeah, because he would, had the gun. You know what I mean? Alec Baldwin Yeah. Oh, are you serious? So... We're gonna, we want to interview you and him just to yeah. eliminate all possibilities that there was a crime involved or any of that stuff, okay? Was Hannah the one to physically hand you the gun at that yes. point? Okay. Um, during the time that you had it, was it ever handed off to anybody else? No. When do you want me to do that? Uh, we're going to probably go right now. So can I take my car, that's my car, go back to the base camp, get rid of the wardrobe, get my clothes and stuff, and then I'll follow you? Yes. Do you think that any part of this incident that occurred was intentional? I can only say this, which is, and it was, to me, to place a bullet and position a bullet that is a live round, to make sure that that bullet is in the chamber, if I were to squeeze the trigger in a rehearsal, that that bullet came out, someone has to have extraordinary access to that weaponry to do that. Charge the investigation. I'm charged of securing the scene, so I need to know Great. who saw it. Um, he saw it. Okay. So I can get you a list. Most of the people we've moved back to base, okay. but I can move you over there okay. and start talking with them. So for right now, I need. But to your experience with these armorers I've never and heard anything like this in my life, ever. Okay. I've never heard of a projectile coming out of a prop gun that went through a person's body, and regardless of her being a smaller woman. The, the, the bullet went in here, I'm told, went in here, came out here, her shoulder or whatever, and went into his body and buried I've never heard of that in my life. I don't know of any projectile with a gun in a flash prop gun that could accomplish that. Now, if somebody put a live round in there accidentally, see, a very important question for Hannah is, do you, have you ever commingled live rounds with theatrical rounds in your kit? Because they're forbidden to do that. Mm -hmm. According to the, I think the union rules and the safety rules for all the unions, you're not allowed to do that because of the fear of what will happen that you commingle. Do you think someone would deliberately do this? I can't imagine who would. Okay. Now, people have said, you know, that six people got fired from the crew yesterday because they said that the, you know, the union. I don't want to get into a long diatribe about this, but the union, the International Association of Theatrical Stage Employees, IATSE is their name, a bunch of people on the set walked off anyway, even though they were told not to, to, to strike. They, they struck and they left. And that was yesterday. That was yesterday. That was their last day. 
How long have you guys been filming so far? Mm, two and a half weeks, two weeks. Okay. No, two and a half weeks. And you're set for how long? Halfway through? Halfway through? Two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, sir? You want to get in your... Do not? Yeah. <clears throat> May I? This way? The thing that is, I think, going to answer all your questions is, what's in Joel's shoulder? Mm -hmm. Is it a rock or is it a bullet? Uh, I can actually show that to you. So, okay, let's backtrack a little bit. Hold on. That's a bullet. Mm -hmm. That's a bullet. So right. as I suspected, somebody put a live round in the gun. If that's a bullet that was pulled out of his shoulder, then someone loaded a live round into the gun I was holding.